Hello and welcome to this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm your host Michael and I hope you guys are ready for the next for this episode. Uh yeah. How you guys doing today? I'm doing okay. Uh by the time you see this, my birthday will have passed and I will be officially Well, let's just say I'm old. Alright. Don't let this voice confuse you. I am old. I'll just say mid-30s, alright? Alright, there you go. Anyway, without further ado, let's start this episode. You guys don't give a shit about my age. And if you do, thank you. I appreciate it. Leave me a happy birthday in the comments. Anyway, let's get going. Answer me this. If Miller is a fraud, is he an honest fraud? The way I see it, he's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. How do you mean? What are you doing? He's on vacation with the lower classes. Now laws, days there, unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He, he writes with incredible beauty. Yes. He's very... This is Ed. Morning. Susan. Good morning, Arthur. All right. Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Hi, Karen. Hello, Miss Karen. Actually, I'm trying to stalk Pearson because... Sometimes when he's cooking in the morning, he'll ask for a rabbit, so I'm kind of watching him. I'm going to stalk you, Mr. Pearson. Oh, hey, Arthur. Oh, hi. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? They kidnapped me when I was 12 years old, right from my mama. Is that so? Malcolm Foreman. Well, he treated me real bad. Hey. He was bad. Morning, to. Know how I slit his throat and ran away? I never felt bad about killing him. I ran back to where my mama was working, but she died. I was falling into trouble. Dutch. Dutch, he found me, saved me, raised me, treated me right, taught me to read. He ain't perfect, but he's the closest. Oh, hello, auto save. His world. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. Hey there. Morning, Arthur. You're doing a good job there. Thank you. Hi, Karen. Hi there. Arthur. Miss Grimshaw. Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. 
Okay. You're up to something, Miss Jackson. All right, Arthur. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. <sighs> Fire's good and hot, Mr. Morgan. I am free. You joining us? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm stalking Pearson. And I want to see what this chore is. I don't think I've done this chore yet. Guess I can do this chore while I'm stalking Pearson. Don't get me wrong, guys. We do got some stuff to do. I got the rest of the dream catchers uh, marked on the map, as you can see with the red markers. And uh, obviously, we're gonna do Jose's mission today. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to rush Chapter Three all that much, you know. Plus, this is like one of the better camping spots. So I said it's almost your choice to get the boat or not because once this once they leave this place that boat I don't even think you can use it no more unless it does get transferred on to Shady Bell but I'm not sure I forget I think it would anyway hopefully by the time I get back over there oh she's reading that book shot a lot of folk like you Arthur what you mean, folk like me? Oh, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, cowards. Damn. How's things? Don't ask. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, Pearson's still over there. You want to get shot too, Morgan? I've seen you in action. From that range, you'd miss. Plus, sometimes there's got to be a little bit of boring episodes because, you know, we, we got to spend time with the camp. Especially if you want these uh, interactions. We got to go back towards Mary Beth. Hopefully, she's still reading that book. God damn, Arthur, you missed like that whole thing. Oh, God. Oh, no, she's getting up. Shit. When she's reading, she'll like ask for a pen, and we already have. The pen. It was fun going out and working with you, Arthur. <gasps> I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. <laughs> Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. Morning. Morning, Arthur. Working hard there. Somebody's got to do it. All right, well, don't let me disturb you. All right then, Arthur. Hey, Jack. I'm hungry this morning. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. You take care now. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Who were across candy sometimes, which she has, but it didn't... It didn't actually pop up for some reason. That Swanson over there. Hey, boy. Come here. You good dog. You good dog. Pet the dog, Arthur. What are you doing? It's like sometimes he doesn't want to do it. Yes, I'm still ta stalking Pearson. Let's see if he's actually cooking yet. He, he'll he do it between, I think, in the morning till noon. Hi what there. You, what are you doing, Pearson? 
What are you doing, Pearson? Hey, Pearson. Morgan. Motherfucker, you make some damn food. Ask me for that rabbit. Hey, little fella. Morning to you. What's Hi. Uh, Uncle. Nothing. A dollar? Sure. Well, go up to old Arthur Morgan. Ask him about the pole he's got stuck up his ass. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. Shut your mouth for five minutes. It's so touchy, Morgan. Stop being an idiot. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Look at him just spinning around. Fucking moron. You need help there, buddy? Just back off, will you? Fucking moron. Stay trapped, bitch. Hey, Strauss. Morning, Mr. Morgan. You know, this ain't such a bad spot we got here, all things considered. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. We sure lived in worse. All right, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> You're still glitched, you dumb bastard. Hey, out there. You might be the youngest, but some of the others could learn a thing or two from you. <clears throat> I don't know about that. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure. Hi there. Away. Hello. Just who do you think you are? Uncle's drinking again and the sky's blue. <laughs> Just taking a break. Well, I reckon break's over. Yep. Damn you. Oh. And you be careful before you hit me again, you goddamn moron. Dutch or no Dutch, you'll be up there with the angels playing harp before sunset. You hear me? Howdy. Not you again. Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what? What do you mean? Uh, I'm just joking with you. But take care. Oh, Pearson's over there. Maybe he'll actually say it now. You cooking, Pearson? Mr. Pearson. Hi there. Thank you for all your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. I mean that. Okay. <laughs> Just standing there, motherfucker. Chop up some fucking onions or something. Maybe then you'll request that fucking rabbit. Charles, my best buddy. Charles, how are those fire arrows? Good, thank you. What are these? Uh, a little different. Poisoned arrows. My uncle showed me how to make these when I was very young. Poisoned arrows? Mm-hmm. Uh, not very nice, but very effective. You got me some oleander, and I'll make you some. Thank you. Do I have extra oleander? Yes, I do. Work Got hold of some oleander. Good. I'll make some arrows for you later and leave them by your tent. Thank you. See, this is why you want to run camp. Hey, it's Trelawney. Oh, I hear someone making. Mr. Summers. Hey. Oh, it's Abigail. There she is. Hi there. You and the boy got everything you need? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. If it ain't Mr. Trelawney. Fine morning. Looking smart as always. One must have standards, dear boy. Perfect attire for the great outdoors. Yes.
Arston. Hey there. You're keeping busy? Trying to. Well, don't let me stop you. All right then. Dutch is fishing a lot today. So what now, Dutch? Now, reading, little son. We're not home free, but... You think they're off our backs? For now, long enough for us to figure out what we're doing. They're gonna let a bunch of criminals go after what we've done. We are not criminals. We are outlaws. There's a difference? Of course <laughs> yeah, there's exactly. a goddamn difference. Yeah, a difference. And when you figure out what that is, you'll know what the hell we're doing. Well, feels like we're running, running, killing, and running some more. Listen, these are tough times, of course, but now this is when we have to be our strongest. We're going to make it. We are going to be okay, but please, Javier, I need you strong. Okay. Not okay. Okay. Yes or no. Strong. Or weak. Which is it? It's strong. Strong. Ain't like you to doubt Dutch. I ain't doubting. I just want to understand the situation. You don't gotta worry about Javier's loyalty. I ain't so sure about any of you these days. Ah, oh, come on, Dutch. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Arthur. I mean, men will have to hear about how awful we got it. We have it awful? Sure. How so? All they'll let us do is teach children, clean houses, and line our backs for money. Much in the way of living. Even fancy women look sour. They'll beat us, enslave us, and punish us if we try to stand up to them. Guess I never saw it quite that way. I think I'd like to vote. Who you gonna vote for? I have no idea. Guess it ain't no use talking about stuff will never happen. What do you think about women's rights, Arthur? I guess I uh, never really thought about it. Voting ain't really my thing. Well, exactly. Hey. Hi, Jack. How's the reading going? I'm getting better. Good. Well, keep it up. Okay. What's wrong with you, Mr. Morgan? How'd you mean? You're stuck in camp all the time. You used to be such a man of action. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, give me a fucking break. I'm always out going out. It's like they can't make up their minds. I'm gone too long. Why are you in camp? I'm in camp too Arthur. long. Why are you why are you in camp? You girls actually Arthur. Go of course. Hi, Pearson. Cross that damn rabbit or are you just gonna glitch on me? You seem in a good mood. I do. Okay, maybe not then. Sure, Arthur. God damn it. 
Pearson's the only reason why. Well, okay, Pearson's not the only reason. I'm also waiting for Mary Beth, but. You're too smart to spend the rest of your life robbing banks. What do you think America is? America? I don't know what you mean. Oh, I've been reading, Mr. Miller, again. Ah. It's my weakness. What do you think America is? I get you. Well, it's like you said. America's a club. But it should be? An idea. Did I teach you that? You taught me the phrasing, but my dad had taught the ideas almost before I could <sighs> speak. Or no fun being an educated Negro for him. No. No, I don't imagine that it was. I always get the feeling he was a great man. You were Paul. Not great, just normal and good. I sure turned out different. Now here's what I'm thinking. Maybe those of us that still believe in the ideas of America, maybe we're the true Americans. And those buffoons in their clubs, they're the traitors. Huh. Well, maybe. Only problem, Dutch, is we don't make the rule. They do. Yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? Make your own rules, I say. Ain't that why we're all here? I sure think so. Well, hello. Away with you. You gonna pass out in your own shit again? You know, you ought to stuff some cow chips in that foul mouth of yours. You bring in no money and drink ten times your share. What the hell got into you? I'm only joking with you. Shit, you're really getting me riled up there. Ladies. Hello. He's a bloody devil. He's a kind devil. Pearson. That last two I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. We'll make a cook of you yet. Yes, yes. Ladies. Hello there. Hang in there. Well, we ain't the quickest, We'll be back on track soon. You get it done right. I'm yep. fine, Arthur. Don't worry about me. Always good to see you. Hey. Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. And she ain't keeping well, off no one's back. Just keep your head down. Okay, then. It'll be ready when it's ready. Oh, maybe he'll fucking request it now. It's a big ass knife. Why are you giving me that look? You don't need no rabbit today? Okay. All right, whatever. Well, I should move a bit. All right, whatever, I guess we're gonna go. Ooh, what's this? What's Bill got planned? Hey, boy. Hey, Karen. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. 
What's the opportunity? A bank stage. And without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's gonna be coming right through, and the bank reckons the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Well, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case... Tilly, you free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stagecoach. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Come on. Let's mount up. Okay, follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And uh, you're certain this information sounds, Bill? After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not riding in another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I'd feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, you stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. They kicked you out of the army. They did not. I beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never had. Running with them foreman boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. <laughs> all right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters so we do this right. Let's cut up through the creek. You know, this was the spot we first picked out for a camp. A dry riverbed? Yep. Who the hell suggested that? Mike, I believe. Well, that don't surprise me. So the stage should be coming from over there. What you want me to do? But you just act dumb and silly and get the thing started. You know, like you do. And what you mean? Oh, come on. Don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't... Manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half-man? What does that even mean? Will you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. We doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you. Follow me. What's the plan? There's been a change of plan. Yes. Dumb and get them to stop. Ah. Hold up now. Easy there. Now,
the honors, Arthur. Grab the loot from inside. Damn, it's locked. I'm gonna blow it open. Stand back. Chasing it all over New Hanover, with God knows who watching. Got it. Right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. Shit, might as well go here. for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness. Beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Good thing I had some already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Save it for bad injuries. 
Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Yeah, you'll meet him a couple of times. The only reason why I'm not killing him, because you know how Arth my Arthur is, is because he's very helpful. Yeah. So don't kill him. <laughs> you might be tempted to kill him, but don't do it. Steady there. Scare away my dinner. Well, you chose a fair spot. There's my uh, dream catchers. So if you guys want to know where it's at, it's right here. Heartlands. Right at the Heartlands. Right between the A and the N. A little to the north. More towards the N. Tracks are real fresh. <laughs> yes, I know where you are. I'm actually curious if he gets it. Yeah. So there's deer right there. What are you hunting, dude? Well, we might as well go down and up. That's what I'm thinking. upgrade my horse yeah. stuff. You know what? Let's go to the stable. Good looking horse there. 
I'm happy to stable that for you. Nah, I don't want it stabled. Don't hurt to have more. I can do that again. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Arthur's custom. Wish more folks took care of their horses like you. I got one of them myself. About time we get an upgraded one, you know? Nice! You only live once, lest you're a cat. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Hey, it costs more for a reason. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. come from all over for our services. That's really nice. Always good to have one of those. I got one of them myself. Okay, here I go. Same thing as the usual. Let's get a blue one. Good. Well, denim, but yeah. We get a horse mask. I'm not going to do that, though. It's cool, but I'm not going to do it. I like my horse the way it looks. You give him a mustache? What the fuck? I don't do any of these because I just, I don't know, I just don't like it. Yeah, that's looking good, I think. I hear folks say this town is on the skids, but I don't I do see. Do kind of want to change this? That's a nice addition on a saddle. Yeah, let's do this one. I like that one. It's all yours. Come back soon. That's a good horse. You done good, girl. Yeah. Jose. Way down there. Okay, well, we'll get these and then 
get this one and then we'll go back down. Yep. What'd you get? Hey, friend. Evening, mister. Is that? Is that a ram? Two goats, so this will be one. Is it perfect? I don't even know if it is. Might not be perfect. Telling me it's not perfect. If it's not perfect, that was a waste of fucking time. find out right now. I'm just going my satchel. It's not. Fuck. It's only good. Discard it. It's pointless. We killed that man for nothing. I wonder where he found the goat at. Oh yeah, by the way, see? Now our horse has a lantern. I don't know where this is exactly. I just know it's in this area. Usually standing out. Oh, there it is. That one was a little harder to find because it's kind of hidden in these trees. So, if you want to know the exact location. Sarah. It's hidden in those trees. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So 
right here. Yep. Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> well, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> Uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. Now, we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on, now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. Hey, there he is. Come on in. Come on. I hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Well, just go hurry her up a little. She won't listen to me. Look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> I didn't mean to intrude, miss. <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. He uh, just asked me to check on you, that's all. Oh, you don't need to make any excuses. No, sirree. She'll, uh, be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> Wait, this is just about perfect. God. One of them moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. <laughs> oh, it's a short life, but a merry one. Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> the food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop <laughs> it, you! How do you like it? Mmm, it's good. Different. Mmm, mm. mm. mm hmm. That meat is so tender. And you know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was when we was kids. Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Horrible. But we still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing time. There, there, that's for you. Yeah. There. Yeah. Mm. 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 
my manners. <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. <laughs> that stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I doubt he needs that. Let's loosen you up some more. Come on. <laughs> ah! Oh, what the hell is that? It's an old Aberdeen home recipe. That one right there is in 1894. Well, feels like someone's stabbing me in the head. Come on, I thought I had a man here, not a boy. <laughs> one more, and you and I both will go upstairs and have a lie down. Ah, what the hell? <sighs> oh, about time. I take whatever cat she has on her and put it behind Mama. Eat. Watching Blitz! That's my oh. girl! What? How the hell did you... Oh, it don't matter. I'll make sure... the simpleton out of the asylum. That's life. Just isn't your day, I is it? I loved him like a husband. 
Come on, man. I'm gonna bleed you dry. Taking me. <laughs> Let me go, you son of a bitch. I will take my money back. You having fun? <laughs> what are you going to do to me? I'm having fun. Let's go. Put me down. You're coming with me.
If I were you, I'd relax. Because this is your new life. So you should get used to it. She survived. <laughs> Girl.
Are you good, girl? said right in the O basically right next to that dinosaur bone should we get this one too I guess since we're over here then we'll head back down do Jose's mission
there's more up this way, but we'll get them later. I'm not too worried. So that was what, 14? Was that 14? 15, 16, 17. 18. Nineteen. Hmm. I swear I marked them all. There's four up here. One here. Maybe that was that fifteen? I don't know. We'll get this one though since it's gonna be on the way back down. We'll find okay, out. Okay then, girl. Maybe the uh, 20th is through a mission. Maybe you gotta find the first 19, I don't know. No idea. Yeah. I was about to run straight past him. <laughs> so let me see, I got... Okay, no, the other five are up here. So I got 15 now and the other five are up here. Okay, cool. You know what? I know I said Hosea, but you know where I should go next.
Jose is still an option, but... We should get that lure. I think that lure is somewhere in the bayou. Might be down here. Let me check this real quick. If I'm wrong, then we'll just go straight to Hosea. Cause for some reason that lure ain't showing up no more. I also gotta mail those bones. So you know what, we'll uh, check that, see if we can buy that lure. If we can't, we'll head here, deliver the letters, then go to Hosea. Sound like a plan. I know, my plans change, but it, 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 it really always depends on um, yeah. what's most convenient for the area I'm in. You know, you gotta, you gotta adjust plans sometimes. where uh, we got that doctor's thing back from. Oh, there it is. Idiot. Yeah, I want to get that lure. I don't think I know you. Welcome. Have you used scent blocker before? Can really change a fella's luck out there. What is so interesting? Done deal. Okay then. Done deal. One more, no problem. Might as well get it all. Thank you. Thank I you for your help. Don't be shy. I don't bite. <laughs> Deliver the 
this mail. Damn heat rack. Look at Gator over. Let's get Girl, get it. Speaking of, where is my regular? Get it. Everything's so blurry. Hello, sir. Glad to have a new patron come through. 
All right, then. Better be good. Give me that money. Not bad, this. Ooh, we have a silver chain bracelet, finally. Well, you don't do this as a profession, huh? No questions asked. You got a decent eye for these things, by the looks of it. I could sell the emerald, but I kind of want to keep it. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. What can I buy from you? That'll do a lot to damage. Something exclusive, huh? Yeah. Right. Let's see that. Permanently decreases the speed at which the health core drains by 10%. Damn right it does. Folks come to me for crafted trinkets and such. You got the right ingredients, I can take a look. no earthly respect from us as a sign of respect to our creator we pay respect to the dead oh father what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully he carried that awful war with him rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. Let us pray for this man, O oh Father, provide him mercy. Amen. Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. Okay, then. You take care. Oh, enough! Let's see what the law says! Huh? I didn't do anything. I just wanted to see who, who was here. Whatever, dude. I don't know if you noticed, but I got a badge on me. I am the law right now.
Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sir. Partner? Howdy. Hello. I know you can hear me. I swear that boy is Well, it's been a while since you were last here. Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. Okay. Take a browse. Yep. Yours. Got what I need. How's your friend getting? So long. Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion. But each to their own, I suppose. I heard that down at the I'd well. Very I'd be very surprised if you had a lady, my friend. Well, uh, well, not right now. But I've had my share. Anyway. Didn't you just leave? Rose, hey, you wait. Don't miss this. Just a cent will do. What can I do for you? You okay, boy? Hey, boy. Howdy, fellers. Hello. Hey. Hello again. Just so you know, it's a few hours before the next collection. Bye. Hold your horses, won't be long. Well, hello again. I got another one. Then. You interested? How's things, How Alden? Good. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay, but the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. Stagecoach to rob first. Let's go, girl. Like I said, plans change. It's time to uh, change back. Man, where is this thing? Up here.
Mister, remember me? Come on over. How you doing today? Now you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. I must have a few. Anyway, my girl. Yep.
might be of interest to you. The hell you done to this poor thing? <laughs> Nothing. Don't spend it all at once. See you again soon. Come on, girl. Drink. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hey there. Why, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire? Oh, by the fire. Well, that's good of you. Come on, Mister. Take the load off. Fire's real warm. Mm. <laughs> Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little. I might, I might tell you. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. <sighs> Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys? But the money don't last long. Uh-uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. And I know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a, a young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. I 
I might risk the last minute feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. I was gonna blow him away, but he kind of knocked himself out. Dude. Right, Mr. Trelawney. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Time for bed. Arthur tired.
What's wrong now? Say you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Hey, boy. I do not have the energy for this right now. Okay. That much is painfully Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. That's right. That's right. Just start stabbing. Oh. Definitely gonna beat me. They're just fingers, right? Whew. Sometimes the letter will change, though. Stop sometime. Not so pleased at that. Good game. See you around. That ain't near as hard as Domino's. <laughs> Woo, Arthur! 
brother. Uncle. Well, at least you're a happy drunk. <laughs> Happiness is important, Arthur. Well, I'll leave you to your important work. You betcha. <laughs> Hey, Tilly. Hey, Arthur. Doing a good job there. Thank you, Arthur. So don't let me disturb you. Yes. See you later. <sighs> Still reading? Hello, Sam. Yes. I'm done working. Uh, I'm not, Miss Scrimshaw. I know you work hard. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. There is. Pearson. There is something about you, Mary Beth. There really is. Thank you. Quite a lady she's becoming. <laughs> really, quite something. The old Dutch charm. I guess so. Well, I ain't saying nothing. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good. What? Take it easy with that stuff. This is taking it easy. Hey, Pearson. Morgan. You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Our own cook. That's fine with her. Sure, well, as you were. Little Johnny Marston. You need to take a look in the mirror. So very popular with the ladies. Why do you get like this? I'm only kidding around. You're a strange man, Morgan. Hello. You gonna pass out in your own shit again? Hey, what did I do? I'm only joking with you. Some kind of humor you got. <laughs> yep. Mr. Morgan. My lady. What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. Just know we're grateful. We'll see you later. Hey there. Hi, Arthur. You look pissed off. No more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Okay, then. There she is. Hi, Arthur. You seem miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. Whatever you say. How's a cigar? Not bad, but sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in. Mm -hmm. Blackwater, I know. 
Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> and we do have this already. Here we go, work. Come on. So, I found you a pipe. <laughs> well, will you look at that? You want these? I stole them anyway. Sure, why not? All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. Micah. Still can't believe I lost that knife game to you. Working hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. pretty much satisfied with that the only one that I haven't done a request for is Sean but he's stuck in a mission with Jose Lenny her son had lost his leg in the war fighting for the wrong side no Pearson grand Arthur real old and I felt bad reckon she feels bad for the war I don't think she calls it any more than I did she was just a woman Karen normal you know I don't see things like that. I know. You see things simple and clear. Oh, hello, Arthur. Hello, Abigail. You seem in a good mood. I guess. Well, I won't go spoiling it. Sure. Hello. Karen, Karen. Nervy little fella, ain't you? Wouldn't you be? Nice fire here, Arthur. Always good to see you. Okay, Arthur. Yep. Hello, Arthur. Why you're still here, Reverend. At the campfire? No, here. With us. It's mess. I don't have many other options. Hey, Jack. Hi, Uncle Arthur. That looks fun. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Let me know if you find candy. I don't you know. You okay? I don't know why it's not a. Hey, Abigail. Is the boy behaving himself? For the most part. Okay, I'll leave you two to it then. Take care, Arthur. All right, let's go to Jose. There he is. You joining us here, Arthur? Who's us? It's just you. You ain't out of it again, are you? I resent the accusation, Mr. Morgan. See, even Arthur noticed.
there. Hey, mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Come on, we need to go. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about why toy fitting my boot up your hook? No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah. Uh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. We got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then.
They never felt comfortable in the fancy one. Worried about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal. In, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Hey, Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Oh, is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fancy places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hold on. Hold on here till I get 
get started. <sighs> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Come oh. on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Good for here.
I'm going to douse this too. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! I'll give you first honors. Would you look at that? Yeah! Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. You ain't leaving here! Well, hold this lot off. You get those fields properly gone. Somebody shoot them already! This is a goddamn mess. There goes our right out of here. Obviously, Sean died, but like, bro, what? <laughs> All right, let's steal some horses from the stables and get out of here. Damn it! No, we got in trouble. Take care. Of this is bloody madness. Look out! Just... This is a goddamn mess. That supply wagon that came in had horses. Oh, they lead away. Stay with me. Look out. Here come more of them. Oh, God. Pull it in. We'll kill every fight with it. Better get us Do well for this. Bloody right. Is 
See? There it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded our cash yet. This is what it's all about. Oh, Arthur. Glad you're having fun. All right, come on. We'll take those horses. Well, yeah, see if the payroll is actually in there. Hurry up. Oh, boy. We did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but well, let's go. Looky here. You get them horses free, Marker. Come on. Let's get out of this shithole. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. You right. Why am I using a lane cast? Follow me. We lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. That's good. Doing good, girl. Jose, how are you? Hello, Arthur. You like this offer, don't you? I found this. Yes, indeed. And I haven't read this one. Thank you, Arthur. Anything I need to know about? Not that I can think of. Well, you know where I am. <laughs> Most of the time. Thanks.
Morning, dude. How's it going? Arthur? Sorry to hear that. Oh, then. Hey, fellas. Hey there. You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Thank you. 